The Iraqi Republican Guard was a branch of the Iraqi military from 1969 to 2003, primarily during the presidency of Saddam Hussein. It later became the Republican Guard Corps, and then the Republican Guard Forces Command with its expansion into two corps. The Republican Guard was disbanded in 2003, after the invasion of Iraq by a U.S.-led international coalition. The Republican Guard were the elite troops of the Iraqi army directly reporting to Saddam Hussein, unlike the paramilitary force fed Ayn Saddam, and the ordinary Iraqi army. They were easily recognizable by their red or maroon berets, rather than the ordinary black of the Iraqi army. Guard members were mainly, but not exclusively, Sunni Arabs rather than Shia Arabs, or Sunni Kurds. They were better trained, disciplined, equipped, and paid than ordinary Iraqi soldiers, receiving bonuses, new cars, and subsidized housing. History Formed in 1969, it was originally created to be a presidential guard. Its primary objective was to maintain the stability of the regime and provide protection against internal and external enemies. During the Iran-Iraq War, it was expanded into a large military force. It was disbanded along with the rest of Iraqi military after the U.S.-U.K. invasion of Iraq in 2003 by the Coalition Provisional Authority of the Occupying U.S. and U.K. forces. The force's last commander was Qusay Hussein, the younger son of Saddam Hussein. Saddam Hussein was so confident about the capability of the guard that he had said, in history when they write about Napoleon's guard, they will arrange them next to the Republican Guard of Iraq, Iran-Iraq War. Initially, the guard had limited capabilities, however, during the Iran-Iraq War, it was expanded to five brigades. By 1986 the war had exhausted Iraq with both Iran and Iraq suffering heavy casualties. Iran had by then captured al Four and generally pushed Iraqi forces back to the pre-war borders. This caused the Iraqi BAATH party to convene the BAATH Extraordinary Congress of July 1986. During this Congress the BAATH party decided on a new strategy to overhaul the Iraqi military and utilize Iraq's manpower capability. The government closed all colleges and universities and began a mass mobilization program to force draft dodges into the Iraqi Popular Army. This decision allowed for the drafting of thousands of university students, who were sent to military summer camps. In addition, the military began accepting Sunni volunteers from throughout Iraq. With this massive influx of manpower the Republican Guard expanded to over 25 brigades which were led by loyal officers drawn from the Iraqi military. This force then conducted the Ramadan Mubarak operation which recaptured the Al-4 and stabilized the front and later pushed the Iranians back. Persian Gulf War. See articles Operation Desert Shield and Operation Desert Storm between the invasion of Kuwait and the Persian Gulf War. The number of Republican Guard formations was expanded and the Guard was reorganized. The Republican Guard Forces Command was also created during this period. At the beginning of the Persian Gulf War, it consisted of the following units. Republican Guard, C.O. Lieutenant General I.Y.A.D. Fatai Khalifa al-Rawi First Republican Guard Corps, deployed in southern Iraq and northern Kuwait, consisted of First Hamurabi Armored Division, C.O. Major General Q.A.I. Zabd al-Razik, Second Almadina al-Munawir Armored Division, Third Tarmak al Narela al Mechanized Division, Fourth Al Four Motorized Infantry Division, Two D Republican Guard Corps deployed south of Baghdad, consisted of Fifth Baghdad Mechanized Division, a square division of four brigades, was able to be split into two small half divisions, Sixth Nebuchadnezzar Motorized Infantry Division, Seventh Adnan Motorized Infantry Division. 
deployed outside of the core structure or were various other units including Eighth Osaka Special Forces Division, contained a Marine Brigade, a Parachute Brigade, and a Special Forces Brigade. The Marine Brigade was deployed on Kuwait's nine islands, all of which with the exception of Falaka Island are uninhabited. The brigade was headquartered on Bubian Island. The Republican Guard also included two corps headquarters, the al iraq Bar Republican Guard Operations Command, and the Fat al mubayn Republican Guard Operations Command, separate artillery detachments and numerous field support units. Between the invasion of Kuwait and the start of the war on January 17, 1991, four more RGFC internal security divisions had been formed which remained behind in Iraq. All of these units were motorized infantry. The names of only three of them were identified, the al al Abad, al-Mustafa and al nida divisions. They may have conducted operations against Kurdish forces in the north. Invasion of Kuwait by the 1st of August 1990, there were more than 100,000 Iraqi troops with up to 700 tanks on the Kuwaiti border. On the 2nd of August 1990, the Republican Guard units commenced the invasion of Kuwait, which lasted two days. The Kuwait army strength was 16,000, so on paper Iraqi forces outnumbered the Kuwaitis 7 to 1. However, the actual ratio was far worse. The initial attack was so quick, and the Kuwaiti units so unprepared, that many of Kuwait's armed forces were on leave and unable to report in time. The attack was conducted by eight RGFC divisions. The main thrust was conducted from the north down the main Iraq Kuwait road, later famous as the Highway of Death by the 1st Hammurabi Armored Division, with the Nebuchadnezzar Infantry Division following, the Tawak al mechanized and al-4 Infantry Divisions advanced on the flanks. The supporting attack from the west was led by the Medina Armored Division, followed by the Adnan Infantry Division and the Baghdad Mechanized Division. Commandos deployed by helicopters joined the attack on Kuwait City. After the invasion, the Republican Guard was withdrawn and redeployed into strategic reserve positions in northern Kuwait and southern and central Iraq. Desert Storm During the Persian Gulf War, the U.S. 7th Corps assembled in full strength and launched an armored attack into Iraq early Sunday, February 24, just to the west of Kuwait, taking Iraqi forces by surprise. Prior to the ground offensive, the Iraqi Republican Guard had been attacked relentlessly by U.S. warplanes but managed to shoot down and damage a number of the attackers. On 15 February, the Iraqi Republican Guard shot down two A-10 warthogs and damaged another and this alarmed USAF General Charles Albert Horner, who was forced to call off further A-10 attacks on these divisions. Simultaneously, the U.S. 18th Airborne Corps launched a sweeping left hook attack across the largely undefended desert of southern Iraq, led by the 3rd Armored Cavalry Regiment and the 24th Infantry Division. Once the Allies had penetrated deep into Iraqi territory, they turned eastward, launching a flank attack against the Republican Guard. Both sides exchanged fire, but the Republican Guard divisions, worn down by weeks of aerial bombardment, proved unable to withstand the Allied advance. Tank battles, including the Battle of Medina Ridge, Battle of Norfolk, and the Battle of 73 Easting, fled as the Republican Guard attempted to retreat. During the latter battle, U.S. veterans admit coming under heavy small arms fire with bullets bouncing off their vehicles which proves that several dismounted detachments of the Tarwak al Division had stayed and fought. Several rifle companies of the Tarwak al Division counterattacked under the cover of darkness, in an attempt to recover lost positions. The Allies won with minimal losses while inflicting heavy losses on the Iraqi army, but elements of the Republican Guard divisions were able to withdraw back into Iraq shooting down three U.S. warplanes and a rescue helicopter in the process. In early April 1991, Colonel Montgomery Meggs, the commander of the 2nd Brigade of the 1st Armored Division, 
paid his respects to his former enemy's Medina division reporting that these guys stayed and fought. The Medina division shot down an 8M Thunderbolt II in the fighting for Medina Ridge on February 27, 2003, and other Republican Guard units were responsible for the destruction of a U.S. Marine Corps Harrier, a U.S. AF-16 and a U.S. Army UH-60 Black Heart that day. Between the Gulf War and the 2003 Iraq War, all the eight Republican Guard divisions were involved in fighting during the Gulf War and the Tarmacalna division was disbanded due to losses. The remaining formations led the suppression of the 1991 uprisings in northern and southern Iraq, the Kurdish insurgency in the north and the Shiite uprising in the east. During these times, there were numerous accusations of the use of poison gas, rape and torture. The Hamurabi and Medina divisions surrounded Karbala with tanks and artillery and shelled the city for one week killing thousands and destroying entire neighborhoods. Though it was reduced to a strength of seven or eight divisions, the RGFC was reconstituted, taking equipment from army heavy divisions. 2003 Iraq War See article, Iraq War It was subordinate to the special security apparatus of the state, and not to the Ministry of Defense as was the regular Iraqi army. It was split into two corps, one for the defense and control of northern Iraq, called al Bar Operations Command, composed of infantry and armored units, and the Fat al-Mubayin Operations Command, composed primarily of mechanized units which was located in the southern part of the country. In 2002, it was reported that the Republican Guard and the Fed Ayin Saddam were both training in urban warfare and in guerrilla warfare. The Republican Guard then consisted of between 50,000 and 60,000 men, all volunteers, and some 750 Soviet T-72 and Assad Babel tanks and scores of T-55 and T-62 tanks, along with other mechanized vehicles. A further 90 to 100 T-72 tanks were operated by the Special Republican Guard. These forces were intentionally away from the capital to avert a possible rebellion against the regime. The members of this body of the army were better paid, equipped, armed and trained. They formed a special corps that were given the ability to buy houses and given other privileges to ensure loyalty to the regime. In the Second Gulf War, before U.S. Troops had entered Baghdad and according to information, the CIA agents infiltrated through the initiative of volunteers. They came into contact with members of the first and second ladder of command of the Republican Guard to ensure an influx of American troops in Baghdad without problems. In that pact, allegedly signed by Donald Rumsfeld, included transportation insurance for themselves and their families outside Iraq, large sums of money, the promise of official positions in Iraq post-invasion for those who had not committed war crimes, including U.S. residency and citizenship for some key leaders. Of course, the soldiers were unaware that their superiors had agreed the surrender of Baghdad and even less the Fedayeen, which were abandoned to their fate once the armed conflict officially ended. Nevertheless, the Medina Republican Guard Division and Nebuchadnezzar Republican Guard Division tasked with defending the Karbala Gap fought well, beating off on 23 March 2003, a strong attack mounted by the 11th Attack Helicopter Regiment, damaging 30 Apaches and shooting down one and capturing the crew, David Williams and Ronald Young, both chief warrant officers. It was an important Iraqi success for the Apache unit was taken out of the front line for a month while undergoing repairs. At least two Apaches of the helicopter regiment were damaged beyond repair. On 2 April 2003, the Iraqi units positioned around Karbala shot down a U.S. Army Sikorsky H-60 Black Hawk helicopter, killing seven soldiers and wounding four others. 
Iraqi forces also shot down an F-A-18 Hornet near Karbala around 8.45 a.m. local time. On April 7, 2003, an Iraqi Special Republican Guard Frog 7 rocket or an ABABIL-100 SSM missile exploded among the parked vehicles of the headquarters of 2nd Brigade. 3rd Infantry Division, killing two soldiers, wounding 15 others and destroying 17 military vehicles. On 8 April 2003, some 500 Iraqis mounted a fierce counterattack across the Jumhuria Bridge in Baghdad, forcing part of the U.S. forces on the western side of Baghdad to initially abandon the positions. But the Iraqis reportedly lost 50 killed in the fighting that included the use of A-10 warthogs on the part of the U.S. forces. An A-10 attack plane was shot down in combating the counterattack by an Iraqi surface-to-air missile. 2003 Order of Battle 1st Republican Guard Corps 2nd Almadina Armored Division 5th Baghdad Mechanized Division, a square division of four brigades was able to be split into two small half-divisions, 7th Adnan Infantry Division, 2nd Republican Guard Corps al Nida Armored Division 6th Nebuchadnezzar Mechanized Division 1st Hamurabi Armored Division, as Psycho Special Forces Division, Independent Unit Containing, a Special Forces Brigade, Paratroop Brigade, Marine Brigade and numerous Commando Units. Special Republican Guard 1st Brigade, 2nd Brigade, 3rd Brigade, 4th Brigade, Air Defense Command, Tank Command. On April 2, 2003, U.S. Army Brigadier General Vincent Brooks stated that the Baghdad Division of the Iraqi Republican Guard had been destroyed. Iraq Information Minister Mohammed Saeed al Sahaf responded that this was another American lie. The RG was officially dissolved on May 23, 2003 per Order No. 2 of the Coalition Provisional Authority under Paul Bremer. In early 2004, British journalist Sean Langan confirmed that one of the local commanders of the guerrilla stronghold of Ramadi was a former Republican Guard officer. In late April 2004, a Pentagon report claimed that members of the Special Republican Guard had regrouped in the guerrilla stronghold of Fallujah. Many members of the Republican Guard joined several of the insurgent groups currently operating in Iraq such as the Return and ISIS. In popular culture, in the television show Lost, Syed Jarrah, one of the main characters, served in the Republican Guard during the 1991 Persian Gulf War. During his service in the 1991 Persian Gulf War, he was a soldier, a communications officer and an interrogator. The majority of his background story revolves around the guilt he has felt towards people he's tortured in the past. The video game of conflict, Desert Storm series feature soldiers of the Ba'athist Iraqi Republican Guard as the main enemies. The video game Black Sight, Area 51 features the Iraqi Republican Guard as the main enemies in the first episode, Iraq. Texas comedian Bill Hicks referred to the elite Republican Guard in some of his routines. He mentioned the media downplaying the U.S.'s success in Iraq during the 1991 Persian Gulf War because we still have not faced the elite Republican guard. He went on to say that after the ineffectiveness of the Iraqi response to U.S. bombing campaigns, the media no longer used the term elite and that eventually the Republican Guard became, the Republicans made this expletive up about there being guards out there. The Republican Guard appeared in an episode of Deadliest Warrior as Saddam Hussein's personal bodyguards and elite troops as they fought against Pol Pot's Khmer Rouge.